All right, y'all, so look, today I'm going to show you how to have the most fun career mode, especially at this point of the year. So look, first thing you want to do, the rosters are not updated. So you want to go to download a save roster, just look at what's going on on the screen, download a community file, okay? You want to find one of the best files you can is this Madden 24 roster update one. Now what I did personally was I downloaded this roster and I basically made my own version of it. You can look up my version of it by searching up my um, gamertag at the bottom right of the screen because I updated them to basically up to this day. I got D, um, DeAndre Hopkins on the Titans and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and download mine if you want to. And after you downloaded the roster, make sure you go over to load and load and delete files. You press R1 to go to roster and you load the roster that, that you just downloaded so that you can have the roster on the thing for what you finna do. All right, now, and just to make sure that the roster has been loaded in, go to edit rosters, manage players, and just go to the Titans to go ahead and see that D Hop is on the Titans because he did sign to the team in real life and now he's there. So now you're ready for the next part. And now, now look, there are two versions of how you can play this, right? You can either do the draft, or which I'm going to show you after this, or you can just be in the roster, go to the team that you want to just play on. If you want to get right into it, you just go to the team, you edit a rookie so that you can be in the rookie of the year um, voting and stuff. I edited a cornerback off the Giants because I'm a Giants fan. So for the sake of the video, we're just going to do a cornerback off the Giants. You can just edit the rookie that you chose. Just edit them all you want. You feel me? You can do your ratings, all that stuff, and then, yeah, you're going to be ready from there. All right, so when you finish with that, you want to go ahead and press circle, go to save, and then save it as a new file. You're just going to go ahead and save it as a new file. Give it a name that you're going to know, you feel me, and then save it. All right, now that you saved it, it's all be there already. You go to franchise mode, and then you, you want to choose create a new franchise, and then choose active roster. Feel me? You're gonna choose use active roster and it's gonna download the roster that you that you loaded in and stuff, and you're gonna be good. I right, for y'all that just want to do the first part, the, the easy one, the, the one you just get right into it. You just choose the team that your player is on, and then first thing that you want to do is go in as a coach. You want to go in as a coach, and then you can, you know what I'm saying, go to the roster. You can edit your player that, that you want to use. You can give them an X Factor, a superstar video, or whatever, but you don't want to do that. You want to do the draft way. You go over to retire. It's not going to make retire your character or anything. You go to create a new player, go to the team, go back to the team. And this time, instead of going to start playing, you go to change role, choose player, and then go to active player. And then what you want to do is go to your position, which I'm at cornerback, and my player is right here. So once you select a player, and then you're really good after that. But for the people who want to do the draft method, you basically press circle so you can go back to your coach and start playing. And now that you're in the Azure coach, you want to go to advanced week and sim until the regular season because you can't do you can't edit your draft class until you get into the regular season. So we're gonna let this in. Bye right, now, now look, you want to go to choose draft class. You want to download a rat draft class. And for this scenario, you're gonna have to download a 2024, which is gonna have Marvin Harrison Jr. in there. And I choose, um, you could just choose the one I choose. For some reason, this is glitching out a little bit, but it's called 2024 ESCO. Now, I mean, you just go ahead and download that. Download the file. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it. But if you already have one download that you want to use, press click down on the left stick, go to down, go to import the file, and then press X, import the file that you, uh, that you already have. All right, now once your stuff is finally exported, you want to click down on your left stick again so that you can edit your draft class. You go ahead and click down on your left stick, click edit draft class. And now you can see all the players overalls and stuff like that. And depending on what position you want to be, you can, it don't matter. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and do cornerback. And then what I like to do, I go to like a fifth draft pick or a sixth round draft pick or whatever. I just edit a random person on here. If you want to how I get some of my players' names, I kind of like mix somebody's first name with somebody else's last name or whatever. But yeah, you want to add that player, change up his name and stuff. You can change up anything you want. You feel me? All that stuff. You just create the player. And the good thing about this is also compared to face of the franchise is you can start off being a star development instead of a superstar X Factor so that you can work your way up. You feel me? That's why I did like at the beginning of what I was doing at the beginning of something. But you know I mean, you can do all this stuff. You can edit your attributes to how you want to be. Tell you, this is the funnest way to play. 
All right, now that you're done creating the character, you save and quit him, press circle and press X. And now we have to get him up and like, depending on what you run, you can get you at the end round you want to. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna go ahead and press triangle on the player and then press triangle on the player that you wanna be above in the draft. But it takes two times to do it. So you wanna go back to your player, press triangle and then go back to the player that you want to be above in the draft to and press triangle again. And now, as you can see, we're in the top, we're in the first round. Now that you finally finished editing your character, you press circle, go to save and exit, and then now you go on to the next step. All right, now from here, you basically just have to, just go ahead and sim all the way to the draft. I sim to the Super Bowl first, because sometimes when I sim straight to the draft, my stuff glitches out. So I go to the Super Bowl, and then I go to the draft. So go ahead and speed up. All right, so I sim to the draft, but I forgot to tell y'all that when you edit your character, this way when you play, you can actually have dreads on your character and the, the ones with the dreads are the guys that have the um the the, the do-rag or whatever on their head so yeah you can actually have dreads when you do it this way so it's better i'm telling you i know finally you just go to start the draft you can watch the draft if you want to but me i just sim the draft you know what i'm saying just go ahead and let everything go through i ain't trying to wait all that time now that the draft is sim you want to go to draft recap so you can find where your player was drafted to if you didn't watch the draft now what I do is I go to I hold L2, go all the way to NFL team, all all the teams, and then go to overall, depending on which overall is. I made my player high overall so that I could just be there. And you see, I'm on the coach. So I'm finna show y'all how to get to the team. If you don't know how. Alright, so to get to your team, you just go to options, go to retire. It's not gonna make you retire from the league because you're just going to create a new character. You know what I'm saying? And then what you need to do now is go to the team that your player is on. And I'm, I got drafted to the coach, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the coach, go to change role, choose player, go to active player, hold R2 when I get to the screen, go to cornerback, and then just click on my player, and then we good from there. I right, know from this screen, you wanna go to league settings. I play on all Madden. I'm finishing out the, the settings that I use all Madden. I, you can turn on Insta Starter if you want. Turn off full field control, so that you're only control, controlling your player. I play on five minute quarters accelerated clock on in 12 seconds so that the game go by faster and you got to turn on manual week training everything else auto all you know what i'm saying and then when you finish doing your league settings you just go ahead and go to start playing and you can finally get to start in this game all right now from here you just sim to the regular season i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to guard the number one receiver if you're a cornerback because i get a lot of comments on how to guard the number one receiver or guard you know what i'm saying depending on what who you are so boom if you want to guard the number one receiver while you're in the play call menu you click down on the right stick so you can pull up the coach adjustments these are the adjustments i use i turn off auto flip because it's annoying and then cornerback matches is what you want to look at there's overall route i use overall i use depth chart route um route running speed depending on who you want to guard on the other team depending on your overall or whatever you dep you change that depending on who you want to guard basically and stuff like that and really that's it's that simple and then for y'all who don't know how to change a camera angle you just you you just go down or up on your d-pad and it gets you to this camera angle which is the the generic player lock camera and yeah man you good from here and as y'all can see, I'm actually not going the number one receiver because I'm not the number one cornerback on my team. So when you create your player, you should make your player, hopefully you get drafted to the, to the team where you're the best corner or you could just make your player the best, make them a 90 overall out of draft or whatever. It don't really matter. As long as you're having fun, it's the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? Have fun on this shit. Any other questions, just ask me in the comments.